Taking policing virtual is a new theme for police departments across the state. Here in Old Saybrook, they're using iPads to enhance their policing in order to keep themselves and the public safe. It's a really a phenomenal addition to you know, our ability to do our job. Master Sergeant Robert Vanderhorst never imagined the effect technology would have on his career when he first joined the force. We just had a two-channel radio and one light switch to turn the radio or the lights on and one switch to turn them off. But now he finds himself responding to calls on an iPad. I sat in my office. I called him on the iPad. He was talking to me on his phone in his living room and we just had a nice conversation. I you know, answered all his questions for him. Vanderhorst has one of three iPads purchased by the old Saybrook Police Department. They utilize FaceTime or Google Duo to contact people in non-emergency situations. The new tech rolled out Thursday night is already making an impact. The victim was able to show us all the documents that we needed. We could take screenshots of it, add it to our investigative case, and no one had to meet actually in person, yet they were still face to face. Chief Michael Sparrow says they use the officer's body cameras to record the interactions just like they would in a traditional response. This tactic to promote social distancing in the field is a new theme in departments across the state. Stations are using virtual conferencing not only as a way to respond to calls, but also to continue training for officers and recruits alike. It's been a big help for us, and uh, we've found ways to kind of um, you know, change the way we do business a little bit, and uh, again, to keep us safe and to keep the public safe. Chief Keith Mello says that even though the COVID-19 pandemic was unexpected, it's the unknown they planned for. These virtual interactions were already on their mind. We've just kind of moved forward a little faster, but these are things that have kind of been in the pipe anyways, you know, finding ways to use technology to help us train and to help us do our jobs. Some of these processes could continue into the future. They say it will never replace that in-person to person contact, but enhancing their model can only help them carry into the next decade. And Old Saybrook, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.